Tim Griffin. We do have a number of special guests with us today. I'm going to try to recognize a few of them here before we go any further. We have uh, State Senator Alan Clark. Just going to do a quick pan here around the room. We have uh, State Representative Richard McGrew. Just again, Tim. I'm not going to stand. You've got to get used to that. <laughs> this is your state rep if you live in this area. Right Senator Jay Stegall, I mean, excuse me, Representative Jay Stegall from Oklahoma. Please stand up. We have Oklahoma State Senator oh, Nathan Dom. Okay. We have the President of Oklahoma 2A Association, Don Spencer. We have the National Chair, Vice Chair of 2A Women, Maria Turner, in the back. Waving, waving. The National Chair of uh, 2A Women Law Enforcement Group, we have actually have a sect of our organization that deals specifically with bringing law enforcement officers into the fold because law enforcement traditionally has been our biggest adversary on gun rights. So Tiffany McCauley, Hot Springs Police Officer. Has <laughs> Carrie Sloan made it here yet? Is Carrie here? Carrie. Yes. Carrie. Carrie Sloan, please stand. Carrie is from Washington State. She flew in for this today. chair of the domestic violence end of 2A Women. We, something we do besides legislate, uh, try to, to lobby legislators on gun rights, we also educate people, but we also pay for firearms instruction for women who are victims of domestic violence across America. Generous donors, people uh, like in this too, community, please. like Trisha Willis. Trisha Willis works to help pay for classes for domestic violence victims, and also women who cannot afford to get firearms training but need to be able to protect their family. Uh, I want Kat Eichhoff to stand up, please. Kat is the national web designer for Two Women. Oh, our state chair for Arkansas, Allie Brown, Sheriff Brown's wife. Please stand. Before I introduce our next guest, I wanted to briefly tell you who 2A Women is. I'm Jan Morgan. I'm the national founder. 2A Women is a national organization. We are the counter to Moms Demand Action. I mean, how many times have you said when all those red coats, I mean red shirts, showed up at the state capitol trying to get legislators to strip you of your gun rights? How many times did you say, well, where are our people? Well, we are there now. But the difference between us and Moms Demand Action, there are many differences, but we don't have to show up at the state capitol with signs and yell and scream at legislators and demand anything. 2A Women establishes personal relationships with our legislators. I don't have to go to the state capitol and yell at Senator Clark and hold a sign in front of his face and demand that he vote the right way on gun rights. I have him on speed dial on my cell phone. All I have to do is say, Senator, now you know that this, this is a pro-gun bill, and it is constitutionally protected, and so you might as well stand up for the right thing. And you know what the senator will tell me? He'll say, well, okay. <laughs> no, actually, he says, no one tells me what to do. <laughs> Not even my mother, and I don't even love, I mean, I don't, and I love her. That's what you got <laughs> Not even my mother, and I love her. In other words, I'm going to do what I was elected to do. So, anyway. Uh, but we are, we have a chapter in every state. According to Facebook, we have a social media reach of 1.8 million people. <laughs> we are the fastest growing group of women. Now, what we do is we're not here to take away from any organizations that are already out there. We're not here to, to take away from the NRA or Gun Owners of America or the National Association of Gun Rights. We're here to complement those organizations, but more specifically, we aren't as much in Washington, D.C., because that's not where the gun rights battles are taking place. We are in the trenches in our states. We are there to support as a backup to 2A Oklahoma Association. In Arkansas, we are the official backup to Patriots of Act 746. Patriots of Act 746 has done amazing things for the state of Arkansas, and we're here to compliment them. When they need a bunch of women to show up at the Capitol, we will be there. We will be there in our black and white. Uh, can I have one of our ladies stand up? You've got the shirt on. Look at this. Turn around and show them the shirt. We chose black and white because when it comes to the Second Amendment, there is no gray area. It's black and white. Shall not infringe. <laughs> the right to keep their arms 
is a right, it's an inalienable right, not a government issue privilege. Okay, so we are a no compromise 2A organization. Um, and I will tell you a little more about us as we go along in between guests, but right now I would like to introduce our next guest, State Senator Alan Clark, who has been a friend to the people of Arkansas on a number of fronts, not just gun rights, on every single area. He has one of the most consistent conservative voting records in our state Senate. I will always endorse Senator Alan Clark for any office he ever receives.